Hello friends, this is Robert Spider and welcome back to a new video. So SFS 1.5 has been out for a week now, about a week and I have been planning to do this video ever since it was released but then I got caught up in my other videos and then I got so many requests for docking so I had to do that first but anyway, earlier I made a video about how all SFS engines perform as compared to one another and now that 1.5 has made some changes to the engines I decided to do a refresh video so first up I will disable the drag because we can't see the full potential of our engine if the drag is on and also we have the same payload for each engine one fuel tank and one probe so now let's begin so first we have the Titan engine and this engine has a very high thrust but that high thrust comes at a cost, a cost of efficiency and this engine uses a lot of fuel but it also produces enormous amounts of thrust. And this is why this should be used on the first stages of rockets where there are huge fuel tanks and thrust is very important. And next we have the Frontier engine. So this engine has a lower thrust but it also has higher efficiency and this is the reason why it is used on second stages of rockets when the rockets are already traveling very fast so thrust is not our priority. So these two engines Titan and Frontier are used in big builds in rockets that are used to go on interplanetary missions but if you want something simpler and smaller you will need to use these three engines so first here is our Hawk engine and this engine produces high thrust for its size but it also has low efficiency in fact it has the same efficiency as that of Titan and this is why this is also used on first stages but for smaller rockets Next up we have the Valiant engine and this engine has a relatively lower thrust but it has a high efficiency and this makes it great to be used in second stages because by the time we actually have a second stage we already have speed but what we do need to do is we need to conserve as much fuel as possible to make the mission last and also to make our payload size greater. And then we have the Colibri engine. So this engine has low thrust but decent efficiency and because of its low thrust it is mostly used in upper stages and for landers on low gravity surfaces. So these were the main engines for the rockets but we still have two things remaining haven't we? So first we have here the iron engine and the struts that are here are included in the engine's mass because the engines cannot be mounted without the struts. So iron engine is actually a general term and there are actually many types of iron engines but that is for another video. So in SFS this engine has minuscule thrust but is packed with a bunch of efficiency and due to this it is mostly used on satellites and upper stages used for circularizing orbits. These tasks require very less fuel and need precision and this is why an iron engine comes handy. Its low thrust makes everything precise and its high efficiency makes the fuel last longer. Finally, we have the reaction control system or RCS. Well, RCS is not an engine but it does produce thrust and hence has earned its way into this video. RCS is used on the sides of the fuselage and provides torque for turning the rocket. These also have very low thrust but awful efficiency and this is why these are not used as engines. But wait, there's more. Well, the video is over but there's more. I'm hosting a Q&A for a special video and I want you guys to ask me anything. And I have put up a post on my community tab. So you guys just go there and write on your questions. Also, I asked you guys at the beginning of this month that the monthly goal for this June is 2020 subscribers. And guess what? 
you did it and thanks a lot i'm i'm really happy and proud yeah i'm really happy proud overjoyed that we did this in such a short duration of time it was a it was a big goal it was a very big goal as per my standard score and we did this so quick i was so i'm so happy but everything has to move on so our goal has been updated to 2500 subs i mean if we have 300 subs in 10 days then i think that we can do 200 more subs right don't let me down and bye